Welcome back to the True Joy YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to do a few of these little podcasts, like mini pods. Sometimes we discuss doing the true news, and uh, yeah, maybe the news is a little bit old, or it doesn't feel quite as hot, or it's not as funny as you think it is. Just want to have a chin wag as well sometimes. But also, um, as well. <laughs> I think uh, it's good to keep the sort of podcast for interviews, and then just to do some random ass podcasts for the people. Right. For, this is for the people. This is just, yeah, this culture. is for the culture of podcasting in the UK. You're welcome. As if every other podcast hasn't already discussed this, Will Smith slapped another man. And not just any man. Chris Rock, one of the greatest comedians of all time. Generational. Mm -hmm. Probably the guy who got me to fall in love with stand-up comedy was Chris Rock, actually. Whoa. I know he was influenced by a whole load of other people, Eddie Murphy and like, Richard Pryor. But Chris Rock was the first one that I saw where I was like, I need to watch oh. every single stand-up you've ever done. Yeah. Uh, there was uh, Never Scared, Big Arm Black, uh, uh, Raw and Uncut, all of them type of... Um, I think Raw was Eddie, sorry. Yeah. Uh, but, you, you know, I was obsessed with watching him. And, uh, yeah, he's so likable. That kind of proves the point. He sort of got you into it. And then after that, you were like, yeah, now I'm going to go and watch everyone else who does something similar to this. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Um, because it's also, it's fair to say that he also pioneered um, a certain kind of comedy that was a little bit different. Because before that, comedians were much more like, and then he was like, and you're just like, oh, wow. He came out. Um, like I, I could literally verbatim like re do Repeat. his like don't because I think that'll mean you say some quite offensive things if it comes out of your mouth no but, but like yeah. skate 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 right okay, like yeah, you yeah. know um, it's Kanye West uh, well yeah it is now but yeah. like um, grand opening grand closing yeah. you know there's <laughs> so many lines that are and weirdly we went to say Will Smith this year mm -hmm. and it was funny when we dropped that podcast I was like I'm not really sure this is really relevant for people anymore and all of a sudden it's like this is highly relevant that might be getting people. some clicks now yeah and all we're doing so. is saying nice things about Will and how much we love <laughs> yeah. watching him because I still do. he is an icon right uh, uh, and, and someone we grew up watching but we we, there was an incident where obviously everyone knows what happened by now uh, a silly little joke about you know Jada could act in the next G.I. Jane movie because she's got short hair mm -hmm. and therefore oh, no, little to no hair yeah. Yeah, and therefore you know G.I. Jane always plays a, sh as a shaven headed woman but uh, plays she's in that. the army look as it happens a lot of details have come out since then Chris Rock didn't write that joke. It was written by someone in the back who, you know, the, Chris Rock doesn't write all of his own jokes. And that, sure, I, uh, and and this is this is this doesn't make that this doesn't mean that he isn't responsible for what came out of his mouth. I mean, he said it, but I'm just saying. Interestingly, he didn't actually write the joke, mm -hmm. and um, he was unaware that Jada had alopecia. alopecia. Uh, Not a happy home life. Uh, <laughs> so weird how Brent's uh, yeah. words come back, um, but. It, it's it, she's had short hair for years pretty so, much forever like, yeah. I can't really think of a time where I like I, if I think of her I think of short hair uh, absolutely so you know um, you could be it could be quite easy for anyone to not know that I mean and it's also a style amongst a lot of uh, if I'd say black women like yeah. a lot of black women wear their hair yeah. short because it's easier that it's way it's nice yeah. as well it, it, it looks you know, amazing it, it, it's a good look and I think when, when women can pull that off it proves like you know you've got to be a certain level of woman to do that right uh, or Amber Rose Amber Rose made it hard to be fair she was sexy as fuck but <laughs> back in the day yeah um, but this is the thing is even when we went to see Will Smith the whispers in the audience, the narrative was, hmm, he never mentioned the marriage, yeah, the, right. the, the situation with Jada. He didn't even acknowledge Jada existed. And this was a, a show all about his fucking life his story. Life. Yeah, so yeah. his kids were involved, his acting was involved. She was the only person not mentioned now. If she is that important, you'd have think he'd have mentioned her. Why didn't he yeah, mention her? So. Because that was the elephant in the room, that they have a fucked up, relationship we all know it and it's unfortunately see i want to unpack all this it, every sentence it, i want to pick up it's spilled out into the oscars the jerry springer situation that they are living behind closed doors uh -huh. is now is public it's every, it, it, right will took a shit on stage did he pretty much that as well wow you know what i'm <laughs> you saying that would be more like in the, in the middle of the oscars mm -hmm. and and it, i've never wanted to be famous in my life 
until now. You wanted to be at those like, Because now I'm like, I'm like, if I'm famous enough, I could just walk and slap any bitch. I'm pretty sure you're up. Chris Rock's not a bitch, first of no, all. No, but I could uh, slap anyone I want and, get and then get on stage, get an award, cry, people applaud me. Life is good. Honestly, you, get, you get a forgiven. I honestly think that's part of it. If he hadn't have won the Best Actor Award that night, the, it, it basically you basically go, right, well... Sorry, this changes everything. I also think that because it's Will Smith, right, and he is like a childhood like we, hero. We, yeah, we loved him growing up, and he's just sort of part of the fabric of entertainment now. And then played an action hero who we're just sort of used to him slapping people or doing. Do you know what I mean, yeah, like if he actually, anything, he does I was that. sat there thinking. That was better than any punch you threw in the Ali movie. Because yes. that was one of the... I'm a huge Muhammad Ali fan. One of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Right. Mental. Like, In terms appalling. of narrative, it, in it, terms of every, was, every aspect of it, uh, yeah. like, boxing-wise, like, it was not a good boxing film. It was terrible. Yeah. Right. Loved Independence Day. Loved Men in Black. Ali, Very trash, similar to Ali. Trash, trash. movie. It was... Wild Wild West. It, Love it, it. It was written as if, like... Let's just get at the good bits. Like, th this, there was just no setup. Sure. And, like, you're like, what, who is Malcolm X here? Right. Like, you're just supposed to gather that the, that guy's Malcolm. Like, they just, anyway. It just doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> just, I, Sorry, there are so many plot holes There's here. just so much I, I want to cover. So, what were you thinking when you first seen it? I thought it was staged when I first saw it. And oh. I, a little bit of me thought, um, because we've heard about the Oscars in recent years. Viewing figures are dropping. People are getting a lot more like, oh, the Oscars, who really cares sort of thing. There's a lot of cultural irrelevance about it because it doesn't feel relevant to pop culture anymore. Well, they're, they're, they're so removed changed. from us, right. the regular people. And I, I think that is actually what we've seen in Will Smith's actions. Yeah, it's just how distant it feels. Oh, okay. see, I want to kind of unpack that. Uh, I'll finish my Oscars point, but I really want to unpack whether this is them being removed or whether this is Will Smith actually being a very human person and vice versa. I think the Oscars is desperate for views. So I, when I saw that, I went, oh, you've staged something a bit weird there where Will Smith walks up. And you see Chris Rock as he walks over sort of going, huh? <laughs> like, <laughs> do, oh, do you know what I thought he thought was coming? And, and this would have been way better, by the way. Yeah. I thought Will was going to like get him, get a little, yeah, yeah, and, go, and do a little, you, oh, and yeah. then maybe bring, 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 up, bring him over to uh, Jade and go, say you're sorry. Exactly. Right now. And there'd like, be this little uh, like, uh, because that's oh. the Will Smith we know. Mm -hmm. The Will Smith we know is the guy who will out banter you, humiliate you, make jokes about you mm -hmm. because the guy was the life and soul of, of TV. Of every party. Yeah. And not only that, but like he was, you know, I, th I think he felt like the chosen one because the story that we heard on the night was, you know, there, there were some prominent people who went, Will, this is your opportunity. Be the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Do this, do this, do this. And he took the opportunity with both hands so he felt anointed by some of the older guys within that community how, how, and when how, that happens but how wow. could you not feel like the chosen one you you literally were the biggest movie star Ever. in the world yeah so you changed the game yeah the, this this was the like i know denzel you know had a Who great, also had a bit of a part in this great uh, yeah denzel had a great career and denzel is that smart older man in all of this but but the point was is will went beyond him in terms of commercial success right will became the box office star which is what films have become and partly why the oscars has begun to feel a little bit irrelevant to film mm. it's still relevant to film lovers yeah. but not to pop culture in the same way yeah. like at one point those two were one and the same uh -huh. will smith is probably one of those bridges right yeah. and that's what the, the thing that really pissed me off was i saw the memes about it before i saw the, saw the fucking clip I wanted to see the clip first and then the memes. If Twitter can fix this, where I see what the actual news is and then the reaction to the news, yeah. it'll be better than if I'm watching it having seen her. So, 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 okay. Face. So, so let's, let's try and unpack this as, as it happened, right? You've got Jada clearly not finding the joke funny. Right, which is her prerogative. But, a, a, but, a, a will, ceremony. but a will clearly laughing. Clearly. Ha, ha, ha. Right, but clearly, but right with that, let's unpack it stage by stage. Chris Rock tells the joke, the audience all react with a Ooh, sort of thing, but there's clearly like, uh, you know, it's funny, but it's not funny, funny. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's also not side splittingly hilarious. The point no, where you wouldn't it's, go, it's a, it's a shitty one. To yeah, the point right. where you wouldn't go, do we drop that? Because that just seems a little, do we need but to? But Will was laughing, Will was laughing, but then that reminded me of this point in the show. Uh, that he did with Idris Elba that we're going to reference a lot because it's my only reference to Will Smith, really. He went, 
oh, I'm a bit of a people pleaser. You know, I like for people to, I like to feel for people to feel comfortable. I like to please people. So I imagine as Will Smith, you're sort of going, what's the thing here? He's a comedian. I'll play along. I laugh. We all laugh together. <laughs> yeah, very good. That's sort of his personality. Do you know what I mean? J- Jade is not that personality, is it fair to I, say? I mean, that, that's the one thing that we said in our podcast post going to see Will Smith was Jada clearly has has left a black mark on his life to a degree where, you know, at one point this was a couple in love and now it's an extremely dysfunctional situation where they're sort of trying to keep going but the whole world can see it. Like, I, I felt like we, we're going all over here but one thing that really came away from that, we got to see Will Smith talk about his life for an hour in mm-hmm. person close enough to touch him we learned you know you and I are pretty good at working things out about people and I just felt like I was looking at a man in his early 50s who was struggling to come to terms with the fact that he was getting older Hollywood had moved on you know they've got the rock now they've got other people now and he had been publicly shamed and embarrassed by um, a situation where his wife decided because she doesn't have the career he does and she wanted her own thing despite what a lot of people have been saying about her calling her an icon i'm sorry what the fuck like every role she's ever had is off the back of him pretty much from a long long fuck i'm talking 20 fucking years right and she'd started a podcast where she dragged this guy on and got her dirty laundry out so that she could get the attention she could get the views and she could be seen a certain way it, will smith isn't going on any other talk show to admit this shit Right, no money is going to get him to do that. He did that to make her position stronger as a favor for her, and he sat there, and I'm being honest, like a bit of a bitch, and took it. Mm-hmm. Right, and it felt like this was a man taking his medicine for what a fucked up relationship he was in to try and appease her. And when I seen his actions at the Grammys, when you see him go from laughing at the Oscars, uh, sorry, yeah, it cuts away. You're seeing Chris on stage, it cuts right back, Will's out of his chair on his way to slap the guy, and you're like, what happened in that time? Well, what I think happened is he clocked that she was unhappy and thought, if I do nothing, and as she's publicly emasculinated him by comparing him to men who are more masculine in Tupac and in others, he probably thought, if I don't act now, A, I'm a bitch in her eyes, and B, I'll never hear the fucking end of this. Mm -hmm. Because Chris Rock had previously made a joke a few years back, for those who don't remember, 2016, 17, where uh, Jada had said, I'm I'm not going to the Oscars. It doesn't publicly, uh, it doesn't represent uh, black people enough. And Chris Rock got on stage and said, uh, you know, that's like, you know, you work on TV, love. That's like me saying I'm not going to Rihanna's underwear. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm not invited. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was a funny joke, and I think there is history there. But, uh, but the fact that Will felt the need to act, sh- it shows how a, a woman who has a face like thunder, which Jada just seems to be set on autopilot at, mm-hmm. um, can influence a man into doing something extremely dumb. That's not taking responsibility away from Will, but clearly he was influenced by her. And anyone who wants to act like he wasn't is, 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 is crazy. Come on, yeah. And this is the sad thing: is I, I feel like I'm watching a man who had the world by the balls. And when you pair that up with a negative, draining woman, you see decades can go by and that young kid who's full of life, who seemed to have everyone and everything he wanted, can just be sucked to fucking death. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and now I'm looking at him thinking, you've gone from someone who I admired so much as one of the most multi-talented people in the industry to a clown who's on stage hitting people uh, for for yeah, it was a bad joke. It, it, but you go out and take the piss back. You humiliate him. You big brother him. You intimidate him. Exactly. You don't strike him in front of in front of the world. And and then, like this is someone who is a peer of yours. Someone who deserves that respect of what his job is, which is to make fun of the rich celebrities. This isn't the first time this has ever happened. It's, it certainly won't be the last. What are you doing? My point off the back of that is there are plenty of comedians out there who I think Will Smith doesn't get up and slap 
you know you know it yeah you know it and it's kind of weird because i mean the whole it's not a coincidence that ricky gervais was trending right that night because the whole world was like you ain't doing that ricky gervais and not because ricky gervais is particularly physically intimidating but he would annihilate you literally you, so you so wouldn't get near him in that regard I, I do think it's kind of weird because like you said chris rock has got more status than probably he's given credit for in this situation he's probably more how can i put it like He's more real relevant than Will Smith has been for quite a while. Because he's he is a, co- a a commentary guy. He he literally does stand ups where he talks about real world situations, and a lot of that is self deprecating. A lot of that is making. He literally made a show called "Everyone Hates Chris" to yeah. show what a silly upbringing he had and how hard it was being him growing up. He's mm-hmm. not. I'm the big movie star. And that is exactly how Will Smith conducted himself in that exactly. scenario. Uh, and a lot of people were like, if The Rock was presenting, would you have got up? No. If Ricky Gervais was you wouldn't have got up. So the fact that Will Smith is a bully in this scenario who who can't laugh at himself. And I mean, yeah, she's got a, a, a condition. But if it was cancer, I'd completely understand. Um, you know what I'm saying? Does you that know, make I, sense? Like to now, a, people might say now this is typical of Lawrence at this point. There's still um, I'm not saying that ca- in cancer is in no way funny, right? No, but it's a but much more serious. It's a much more serious condition. You can poke fun at anything, providing everyone is in on the joke, and it, you know again, exactly. Yeah. And and this is partly where it. But 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 what I'm saying is, if he was worrying that that condition mm-hmm. that caused her to lose her hair was going to kill her, I'd understand him being on edge, and I'd understand an overreaction. But alopecia is not that. And, so it, and they, ironically, a clip has literally came out of him making of him fun making of, fun of a did bald that guy, guy have or who was, was he par- just bald? whatever. Yeah, we don't whatever. Know. He's yeah. made fun of a bald guy but, before. How many times did he make jokes about Uncle Phil's head and all of that? Like, come on. Right? I, now, now I get that, but this is kind of, this is the weird society we live in now. Where why do we have like why do we have to unpack this to because such being offended shame? makes you right, Lawrence. Right, and that's kind of my point here is being offended, and I get it. Allegedly, there are plenty of people out there who have alopecia who will feel. I don't know why you feel upset uh, that Chris Rock is not really making a joke about bald people. He's making a joke about your ability to play someone in a film after that it's it's a really very nebulous joke to to get to also her alopecia you can see her hairline clear as day like there are people with far worse alopecia out there and i get that than and, hers. And, and so minim- if we're even going to go there minimizing <laughs> someone's condition i get it, but at the same time for me this was very much just to be clear i haven't got alopecia you don't have alopecia you just choose to shave it sorry so that's sort of a choice of I'm his sorry. I don't want you, to if anything you're much closer to amber rose than you are to jada well i'm a whore so yeah right and you have a beautiful body uh, thick m- m- yes definitely but my point is <sighs> i i saw someone who's in a relationship where they don't people do crazy things in relationships where they aren't a hundred percent in control and don't know where they stand. Oh yeah. And there's a bit of a power struggle going on between those two. Oh yeah. The main reason being, I, and I thought it was a funny meme where they were like, she just looked at him and went, Tupac would have done something about this. And he yeah. was like, Oh, I'm up I'm on that stage. No. And like, then the next meme down is like, he's like, Tupac would have shot, shot him. <laughs> but there's, 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 I mean, like, like we, she publicly admitted she fucked another guy, right? Absolutely. For those who aren't up to date, they took a guy in who was a struggling artist and she called it an entanglement. She fucked the help, basically. She, fu- she, fucked, a, she fucked a guy that allegedly Will was trying to help himself. Mentor was him. in their home. Mentor. In they their took own him house. In. And, and this is the thing. is like, you know that Drake meme where it's like, and then like that. that. So you had the Drake meme of like, call my wife bold or whatever. That's not on. <laughs> Shag my house. wife. All good. Mm-hmm. Do you know? And that's sort of, I think we've seen a very dysfunctional relationship spill out. But I also think we've seen a man who's, who has for, ye- for decades, not years, decades, been on top. And for the last five years, felt like a joke, felt humiliated, felt like the whole room was laughing at him, felt like everyone was saying, oh, his wife fucks, fucks on his, behind his back and all of that. And that, that outburst was not in any way about this fucking silly little joke about about J.I. This was an outburst of, I'm sick of people laughing at me. I'm going to do something about it. And I've got no doubt. And there's another camera angle came out where after he slaps Chris, I don't know if you've seen it, you can see Jada laughing. Yeah, I've seen that one. And that just shows like that she's laughing because she's wanted that. She and. 
she is just such a bad person. Like, so no wonder she played a bad guy in that crappy Gotham series. Do you think she played a bad guy in G.I. Jane? Probably she, a good guy. This is the thing. I, I remember when he met her, and she was that fresh-faced girl on The Fresh Prince and all that. She looked, she looked cute. She looked happy. She looked nice. But I'm a big believer, and I've seen this. As certain people get older, and I've, I've seen women especially in their 40s and 50s, the misery Tony that they Blair. have win, with inside, Tony Blair. it starts showing on their face. Tony and Blair. Tony Blair is the best example. Because He's becoming the Green Goblin. I don't know how it's happening. He was a, actually a decent looking guy when he was younger. He looked happy. You could he, see the life in his when eyes. When you press that button that kills all those innocent people, it shows, mm -hmm. right? Not on George Bush's face because he doesn't even realize what he's been doing. Absolutely. But, <laughs> right. And I think Obama might have some sort of like deal with someone. <laughs> yeah, but this is the thing. It shows on her face. She is... Resting bitch face is her automatic setting. Right. But this is what's interesting about the whole situation. This situation shows the lens that people look upon pop culture with. Mm. So however people choose to approach it is kind of partly their lens onto the world. Some people went, this is a racial thing. You know, this is a black guy slapping a black guy. How do we see that? Some I mean, people said... Uh, if you want, just one at a time... If Mel Gibson goes yeah. up there and slaps Chris Rock, the world erupts. The, he, he would have been arrested on the spot. Right. To be fair, but, Mel, Mel Gibson has previous of this. Uh, no, and, but, and, all right, bad example. Yeah. But, regard, <laughs> just, but the point is, is like, I, I actually thought, incident. I thought it would have been, if, if Chris Rock slips it, bangs the left hook in or something like that. Right, that's what and, you were expecting. Uh, well, I would have loved them to say that because that then changes this whole situation. Some people did if, say, by the way, there was a moment where Chris Rock can see, like you can see it in his eyes considers unloading like a comedy clip on Will just sort of being like hey it's March but imagine if this happened in August like that sort of thing just to start this off yeah. would have been insane yeah and then does Will get back up <laughs> like does he go whoa wait a minute it, yeah that that was a tricky one because I think Will that whole scenario played out as good as humanly possible for Will and for the Oscars it, if Chris hits him back Will can only lose. Because even if he struggles to deck this kid on stage or gets hold off of him, mm -hmm. it, it's chaos. It's, it's mental. Terrible. How does he accept Will, the Will, And I think there was a, a, a level that on the way up, he considered the outcome. And that's why you say, like, he slaps him a bit like a girl. Will's got quite a feminine... It's quite a weird. He does have... He's always had that kind of quite... Um, he's got quite big movements. Yeah. And they aren't always but as... Like, it was very like feminine and like there's been rumors. He's always shifted like that. There's though. been rumors about Will's femininity. Let's just, you know. Really? Oh yeah. There's oh. there's a there's that's part of why That kind of makes me like him more. There's that's part of why people suspect she has license to thrill it's an open relationship well they call it an op i mean how open it is i think at, at, at some point it became open but someone obviously this is a mutual choice someone opened that door first and we don't know who it was but the the point is is one of them probably did the dirty on the other one right and i always assumed it was will because of the way jada dressed him down on that podcast and he took it like a bitch in the way he did he didn't fight he didn't stand up for himself he just sort of lay there and there's the memes of him just sort of defeated <laughs> which is still and i meme. felt like a lot of people kind of come to the That's interesting. Uh, uh, conclusion of he brought this on himself and that's why she feels like punishing him punishing him and punishing him for it in the way she cut his nuts off i did feel it was strange the way they did it publicly and i never understood the public humiliation well, it, element it clearly it. wasn't what he wanted to do it clearly was her to say the or, fact that he sat there think? broken that did not look in, like an experience that he was enjoying uh, did you have to enjoy every experience like this is part of it d does he have to enjoy public humiliation and is it a good thing if maybe they need to acknowledge it publicly but, that he does look broken in public but, you know jay-z and beyonce yeah, had that whole okay, thing do you know so, what i mean so let's look at his behavioral patterns in previous uh, years he did a book tour that we went to we went to a private uh, like concert thingy yeah he ignored her completely he didn't mention her at all not mm -hmm. once if that's the next book if he was wanting people to know everything about their relationship on his own events he would have brought it up he mm. would have talked about it he didn't he left it but when he was in a room with her i don't think he had a choice in the matter sure. and that's why on his face it's the defeated poor like we're looking at him like god you used to be the fresh fucking prince of ballet what has she done to you bro Maybe and this let back. this be a lesson out there to, to men and women 
careful who the fuck you choose to spend the rest of your life with because you can go from a fresh face print to ballet to an idiot on stage smacking people sure. because your relationship is so dysfunctional and fucked up that's part of it and and to, sometimes to solve dysfunction <laughs> i think people think to go deeper into the dysfunction helps I, I felt straight away that he thought i don't want to be in a car with her tonight not having acted on this and be listening to her talking about out the side of her neck about fucking you didn't do this do you, you think didn't that's, do that, that that's wrong let's though. not let, let, let's not act like women don't do this to men they sure. fucking do but that's on a wrong mass scale. but that's wrong though isn't it what what she would have done well, to will is it's not his response i mean whilst it is their responsibility they are, they're clearly in public a married couple it's an abusive relationship it's, it's not a good thing that he would have felt pressure from her to get up there and do something that is technically but illegal we're living in a society and i'm sorry to say those words but we are we're, um, we're we do live in a society you are right so far you've nailed this we're we're raising awareness for some of the 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 violence that women go through mm -hmm. rightly so th you know it's about fucking time obviously but unfortunately manipulation mental emotional uh, abuse emotional yeah. abuse is something that is very difficult to put a finger on and to prove and to and and often it only is um found out about when it's too late when one of the people is snapped or eventually physical violence becomes um it, you know it becomes into the relationship mm. and i i feel like that's kind of what we're seeing with those two is sure. is is a and i'm not saying will's you know, being abused on a regular basis. No, and I'm also not saying he's not p playing a part in it because clearly he is because he's not exempt from this at all. But I'm just saying that in many relationships we see, I have seen through first-hand experience, men who I know who have been emotionally abused and have then reacted in ways where you're like, I knew that guy five years before that. He would have never have done that. And right. now because his woman's like, are you going to let him do that? You know? Right. It, they, people who I've known for years are acting in a way that's fucking mental. Yeah. So I personally think that there's a hint of that in this situation, at the very least a hint. I think I agree and but then there's other there's other things going on that we just don't know about right I'm there's, sure. yeah there's other layers and the problem is they've op once you slap chris rock on stage you open that pandora's box for people to speculate about your life and to a huge extent right, when they did that when they did that interview uh, between the two of them they also opened that box for people to then speculate. oh no no this is this is all their fault this is the, yeah all, all of the people laughing at will would not be laughing at Will because he let his wife fuck on but it. But do you know the do you know the strange thing about it is Will had that very much had that status in Hollywood for me at least. Maybe I was too young to realize. For me, of I don't really care what your private life is. I just want to see your films. There are some people where you go. He didn't need it, right? Who it, needed exactly. it? She needed she it need, because she need, was irrelevant. Right. So she had to make a show about their lives, and she she basically thought, "How do I become relevant again in this space?" Because right. I'm some bullshit Gotham B level actor. Go and Gotham I, is a good TV nah, series. Go Gotham's bang average, right? But the point is. It's a B plus. She wasn't even the main character. She was just a B, you know, just just one of the one of them. You yeah, know what I mean? Fine. And if you look at all of her roles, you, you go back. It's been years since she had an involvement in a Tupac's movie. Tupac's girlfriend was the last good role she had. Literally, she's not a fucking. She's not an A level actor. He was. So how does she get clout? How does she is. be? He, how bear, bear do, mind, this guy. You know the thing we've not said once. He won an Oscar. He okay. won a fucking Oscar. Which they're, which That's they're, huge. Which they're now thinking of taking off of him no. because of this shit. What? Right? No. That, yeah, they really are. The Academy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the guy insulted someone on fucking stage at the Oscars. So he didn't press charges. <clears throat> yeah, but it's not up to him. It's up mm. to the, the Academy. I but, say keep it. Uh, whatever. But reg regardless, the point is she needed that. And he he did that. So in order for her to grow Jada, she was willing to diminish mm -hmm. Will. And now the 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 thing that we thought of him as is bad boys, king of dick slinging, mm -hmm. the the ladies man. She annihilated it. She ruined his his perception. And it doesn't matter because it was never reality. He was a married man or whatever the fuck he was doing. No, he, but he was a demigod in that what, sense. But she 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 ruined it to elevate her status. Do you understand? And. But did he let her ruin that? Like he did. Actually, and yeah. that was a trade-off for whatever had gone on between them two beforehand. And I can only assume I if he, he hurt her and she was like, you want to make this right with me? 
I want you to come on the show and talk. We'll talk about it. Jay Z, this shit. Yeah, and when Make he album and when it. he brought up the August thing, you could see she was angry at him for even bringing it up, as if to say, "How dare you bring it up?" Mm. Now, if you have a woman, you you got a relationship there. You bring this young kid into the fucking house. You're trying to help him, and she fucks him, and you haven't even got the right to bring it up. And she's help bringing me. you on this show. That shows how fucked up their dem. Um, their relationship um, is. is okay to answer that then what if these two have made a pact that they would play out a lot of their relationship in public and whatever happens within that relationship they're okay with other people seeing and the they haven't though have they because we know that because he ignored the whole relationship in his own shows I get that so but he maybe he only also- did it for her that one time and has been paying the fucking price for it ever since because how many roles Big roles did he get cast in after that? All of a sudden, his stock went King, down. He, King and, Richard was a, a good film, but it wasn't a big role. And, simultan- a and simultaneously, The Rock and people like that have taken all those roles. Who have had them all up? Because the level of respect for Will went down. He was seen I'm, as a bit of a joke. I'm going to be and honest. And then next thing you know, he's doing this weight loss thing. It's like... The weight loss thing is bizarre. You're Will Smith, bro. Like, we don't really need you to be... Right. Do you know what I mean? If you're going to lose weight, just lose weight. You're, like, you're not an inf- fit sport influencer. And also, you don't need to be. And also, you, you, have, I mean? you have more than Even enough. I feel a bit weird about posting shit like that. And I'm a nobody. Right. But, and, and, and really... I didn't need that from you. I just needed you to make more films. Can you just be a movie star? <laughs> but that's partly where it, it is. This his uh, what's that thing that Madonna did? Um, Kabbalah or whatever it is. You know that thing, like the religion thing. Part of me thinks they've gotten to that point in their lives where mm. they don't have enough meaning from what is going on on a day to day basis. So this drama has almost manifested itself in their lives through them not having mm. a real reality. There are some, insight into that. What, one thing I, I do want to pick up on is there are some people who think he was justified in what he did. Some people who I are think I, I, out I kind of fair enough. I can kind of see a merit in that. And I, I, it's I, not, I, I, do you get what I mean? Yeah. If someone insults your girl, you want to slap the fucker. I'm all about that, right? I'm a big proponent of that. But in in the context, if that's in if, my relationship, if I'm in a pub, up on the stage. If I'm, in, <laughs> she's stabbing them. She's. Right. If that's and in my relationship, come back. I, no, come I, back. In my in my relationship, that's just it's, a. It's the other way. I, I just turn to her and I go, "You got this yourself, baby." No, you go. Are you going to stand for that? Yeah, get can, up there, woman. Genuinely, she smacked she, the cunt. She didn't need me to do that. So, so here's the thing, though, right? And we all know, like, lots of different relationships handle this lots of different ways. But in a pub, if someone has a go at your chick and you want to bang them out, fair play, right? Sure. Crack on. I don't have a problem with it because this is that but, times ten. But this, we're at the Oscars. Chris Rock's job is to take the piss out of you. You're multi-millionaire, hundred millionaire movie stars. You know the gig. You also have the privilege. There Every of- single award show. We've seen Drake on stage doing it at the NBA playoffs. We've seen, you know, Gervais do it with every everyone. But and people still went knowing that Ricky Gervais was gonna be there year after <coughs> year after year, mm. knowing that Ricky Gervais is those. So it's not it, like they turned up and went, sorry, who's the for fuck's sake? Like literally, your front row. Yeah. Your front row. And the cameras are on you, you know it's coming. Yeah, like I, I feel like, though, this isn't again, a pub. It, it does you know go I mean? back to the Oscars trying to be relevant. The Oscars used to be this classy ceremony. People used to go along, accept their award, and get a 20-minute speech and whatever it is. Mm. It's not that anymore. And frankly, I think the reason that Will Smith won an Oscar for King Richard, which was a good performance, not his all, all-time best, though. He's played better characters, and there's probably going to be people who have more nuanced, better performances this year, is because we realise, I don't think Will's going to get another opportunity to win an Oscar mm. for Best Male. Getting old, isn't he? he he's, he's older. He's also, he's not as I prevalent he's, or as prominent as he used as well to be. Because, like, we're fans, right? But Huge. also, I'm, I can be a fan of someone and critically evaluate things and, like, when your skin looks that smooth at 53 or whatever he is, we all know you're having shit done. Jealousy is an ugly emotion. And, like, this guy's skin is so good right now. It's amazing. And he looked like Uncle Phil a few years back. Like, what happened? I don't know. But uh, it's, it's called uh, HRT. I don't know what he's doing. But anyway. I actually saw a guy the other day, and I'd not seen him in a while. And before I saw him, he looked like that Uncle Phil version. And then I saw him a couple of days ago, and fuck, this guy looked good. And I was like... <laughs> You look amazing. I like, as I saw him, I hugged him. He just came in, literally in my ear. He just went, hormone replacement therapy. And I was like, okay, cool, man. Let's get on it. I was literally like, wow, what the fuck Well, happened? he's clearly having everything done. And fair fucks, like, you know what I mean? But it's difficult when 
you've only been that guy. Like I'm, I, I'm, I'm interested to see how these people pivot because I'm, I'm looking at The Rock now and, and he's getting older, but the guy looks amazing. You know what I mean? But like, there's only so long you can be the sex symbol sure. leading man. You know what I mean? There are other men though who have transitioned quite well. Like I feel like oh. I know as much as I. <laughs> And they've aged very well. Um, Your tits are fantastic for your age. Um, uh, Barack Obama is aging well. Now, whatever you think about him bombing other countries... This this isn't about Barack, though. No, but the point is he is aging well. And there are certain men within the world who do that. George Clooney, aging well. uh, You can see on Will's face there's a lot of... Work that's been done. It's a little puffy. Yeah, Yeah. I get what you mean. Did you get a feeling... Can I I ask you... Go on. You go. Jim Carrey... You hear I love saying? that. Jim Carrey Some said, people didn't give a fuck and other people were like, this is Will Smith, you can't say anything. Yeah, yeah. Jim so, Carrey was like, <laughs> so, I don't so the care. point Jim Carrey made was like that just showed everything that is wrong with Hollywood it because does. within 15 minutes, Will's up on stage crying saying you do silly things for love. And then at the Vogue party, <laughs> however long after. Yeah. Just like, hey. <laughs> it's yeah. like that's in a way. So, he's crying, everyone gives him a standing ovation and Jim Carrey's like what what the fuck? Like you're literally applauding a man who just assaulted one of you lot. Yeah. Like you you a beloved member of your community. Literally, yeah. He should have been escorted out of the building immediately and went like you can't condone like. But the fact that do you realise Madagascar Four is not going to get made now? Part of the problem now? was Chris Rock was such a G in the way he fucking just carried on, laughed a slap off and went. Ha, Will Smith just slapped the shit out of us. Yeah. Anyway, next award. What I did like was, he was clearly guy. he was clearly a little thrown by it because he went. We're now going to present a documentary. I mean, an award for a documentary. And I was like, the fact that that's the most you've stumbled after that is incredible. Part of me thought, does he go, that's one of the biggest celebrity things that's no, ever fucking that, happened. That, I did appreciate <laughs> the, the, the moment where where Chris was like, he was like, you know, I could just fucking go at you right now. But then he was like, you know what? I'm you like, see his eyes. You literally see him go, <sighs> what a pro. What an absolute pro. And and also for a smaller man to take a shot like that and just keep it going absolutely um, big old hand you know huge there was a part of, you know if like this celebrity boxing thing was going there's a part of me that feels like going like will you want to pick on someone your own size like it's annoying that well, you, you box will smith well i box the lugs off the cup and gun. the offer's there the yeah offer but like there. it just annoyed me because those like, ears are he, big though he's a small guy though like you know what i mean like it's just it, as a bigger man mm-hmm. there's a certain way to carry yourself and there's certain things you just don't do you can't walk around and slapping people you, no but you you can as long you, as they're within no but if I you're gonna like if, you're, if you're gonna try and like if like, if i was gonna have a youtube fight i'm not gonna fucking try and pick on someone who's half my size and that's right. basically what will would what will did and i just thought you know like respect wise you've gone down for me because there's certain things you just don't do you're not you're not proving anything you're also making chris rock look like a bitch in front of the world Mm -hmm. now luckily like i think a lot of people have take taken chris's side and actually respect the way he just like laughed it off and it clearly he's got a chin on him and he just you know what i mean either that or will smith hits like a bitch and i think it's a little bit from column a and a little from column yeah and but it just it, my respect for Will Smith definitely dropped off. My, my respect for anyone who from hit from that set who spoke out and went I like like Jim Carrey who said if it was me I'd be suing him for two hundred million dollars the, the next, next day. day. Yeah. And, and then he said it just shows how spineless the entire community is. The he actually they, said though it they shows how they him right. after getting the Oscar when he'd done something so shitty. And then the, I didn't really like the woman who was interviewing. I can't remember what her name is. She's sort of annoying, but she. She said then, she basically tried to insinuate you saying that Chris Rock's spineless. And he was like, no, he just doesn't fucking want the hassle of having to sue someone Clearly, for that money. Yeah. And also, Chris Rock probably realizes the goodwill that I now have for the next however long in my life is infinite. Mm. The roles I'm going to get, all this other stuff, like I'm going to be prominent for a while. And, you know, I'm a close personal friend of Chris. We stay in the same hotel. So we were talking earlier about whether this makes Will real or fake or what what this is showing to me we hung around celebrities but but we also we've hung around influencers a lot and every influencer can be capable of a diva moment or whatever but but what what you don't see is how often it happens with some of them like some influencers play the every guy but off camera they're spoiled brats and 
what I felt like we got was a, a window, a tip of the iceberg into the real Will Smith. And, and it, it, it made me go, oh, I thought you were totally different to this. And I've I misjudged you. Totally different. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think. I thought you would get up on stage, rip the piss out of him, maybe like give him a bit of that and be like, oh, you fucker, go on, apologize to her now before I beat the fuck out of you and, and joke about it. But but what I felt like was it, we got to see the brat come out of Will, the, the, mm. the celebrity who thinks I can do anything, say anything and walk around like there's not a problem. The, I wouldn't have done that off the top of my head. I, I, I remember... I remember going back to the fucking Wembley Cup where I nearly slapped that kid and I showed restraint because in my head I'm like you know what we don't need this shit uh, uh, it's a silly little bro uh, winners uh, yeah, yeah it's a it's a silly little football day and yeah I could slap someone and, and it would make me feel good in that second but I don't want to to ruin this for people do you yeah, know what I'm I saying keep the kick but up. the fact that that didn't that went through my head at a shitty little football event. Not his. Not shitty, no offence. But, you know, yeah. compared this to the is Oscars. Cup here, Brian. <laughs> this is the Oscars of England. But the fact that that went through my head and I can show restrained, right, defending my beautiful bride and Stephen. Yeah. Um, but in all seasons. He the very fact, much was the Jade. The fact the that group. that never went through Will Smith's head at the Oscars. He's front row. By the way. The fact that he just thought, yeah, I could just do that. Oh. Like, that shows to me what reality he is living in versus... Us. Very much on his night as well, because he'll probably have been given a good inclination a as yeah, to whether he's going to win yeah. it or not. This is your thing. His PR team should have been waking up the next day and going, "Fantastic, great, we'll do the press release. This is great. You know, you're just you, you've you've just won an Oscar. Oh no, you fucked you fucked the biggest night of your life up, right? For, for real, this yeah. is this you was his it. night. You fucked it. Yeah, the whole thing. Fucked it because no one is talking about the fact that he won best Oscar, yeah. like best man. Uh, uh, no one cares. Yeah. Like no one gave a shit. Yeah. And no one because no awards, one's talking about King awards Richard shows or are all bullshit. Like right. let's be honest, they're all bullshit. They're all popularity contests. Well, they're, yeah, basically, you have to send the judges a Rolex. Or something, <clears> most the, of the time. yeah, the years of of you know Al Pacino and De Niro and that. It's a long, long, long time. Yeah. Ago. So like, but yeah, it just made me think like. I just felt like huh, if you had a camera for some of the shit we've seen off camera, like where where influencers have had bitch fits and that you you. A lot. You'd see a lot more of this. Like this is not as uncommon as what people think. Is that a good it's thing? It's just though? Would that be good? we just seen the elite level of it. We're, like, and to be fair, you don't get to a point where you can walk on stage and accept adulation and perform without having a massive ego. Like Beyonce, Jay Z, all of these people, Jennifer Lopez. They are famous for apparently behind camera being a nightmare. Yeah. Right? Kim Kardashian and all of them. And occasionally we see it spill out. We've seen it spill out a bit with Kanye. A bit. A, a, another man who's been emasculated by a woman. Yeah. We've, see, we've seen Emasculation's it. a huge thing. Uh, it, and, it, and, it makes and, men but do ironically, crazy things. Uh, yeah, and a lot of people are saying that this is toxic masculinity from Will. I personally don't think that that's what this is. This I, is kind of where I'm... This is what I'm talking about, This len your lens onto the world. And this is where I, everyone's take on it was on Twitter within 20 minutes. Frankly, I didn't give a fuck about most people's takes apart from Stephen Tries. Like, apart from that... I found it very weird that people thought, okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach such an overarching narrative, this whole thing, which is either about my book, my specialist subject, my degree that I've got, my thing. Like, if you were part of critical race theory, suddenly this became about critical race theory. If this was about, uh, like, toxic masculinity, suddenly Will was toxic masculinity. All these people were lining up to cancel him for whatever subject they specialized yeah. in. So if, you, if you're an influencer, well, I understand what it's like to be an influencer. So, you know, I understand what Will's going th through in that moment. Uh. Like, everyone had their take, but it clearly was from their perspective. Yeah, and I, I just thought, you know what? Fuck off. Like, I, I, I don't... I'm the same. I, I avoided Twitter for a day because I was like, I know everyone's coming for their clicks and their retweets and to give their hot takes, but... You know, and, and I understand that I'm no better than them in the sense that we're doing this podcast, but equally, like, you can only go so far in 140 characters, and not, none, of, none now, of you yeah. fuckers are going to go deep enough for me to actually get interested in it. On top of that, my, the, my mind went first to Kanye West interrupting Taylor Swift at the award ceremony when he got up <laughs> on stage. That all of a sudden looks really mild. <laughs> Bro, when you look back at that and the uh. media reaction, the weeks of, uh, like, churning this out oh, yeah. and making Kanye West feel like he'd done he'd done a crime no but this is Be the thing though. stopping Be a woman speaking this is the thing is kanye kanye is seeing like a real like guy from the hood yeah right? will smith isn't right, right? 
Will Smith, um, you know, like, mod, like there's certain, uh, for whatever reason, the media has different levels of judgment for black people. Right. And this is a sensitive subject, but I think it's something that should be acknowledged. Like, mm -hmm. he, he was seen as your friendly neighborhood black guy because yeah. we literally seen him in Bel Air and, he was, and everything was lovely. And he's even admitted, like, he kind of hated that and he felt jealous of Tupac because of the cachet that he was walking around with because he was seen as the dangerous one, the one who is about that life. You know what I mean? And that's probably why he now feels on some weird level, the need to show I'm not that guy. Some, some level yeah, and, of, right. And, and, and like, so the media then reacts to certain people. Stereotypes, yeah. In certain ways. So Kanye got the treatment of this guy's from the hood. How dare you? Who do you think you are? This is Taylor Swift. She's a fucking white princess. What are you doing? And I think that's one of the reasons Will Smith has gotten a bit of a pass on this. It, it, he is not being judged. It, the, what they're doing is they're maxing out his nice guy credit card. They're going, sure. right, we're going to use all of this and we're going to give you a pass. But anything else you do, you're on your own, pal. And but You do forget, though, I, I think he's, there's been a few times where it slipped out. There's that other clip of him slapping a guy at an award ceremony uh, at, on a red carpet. When I, the guy I kind of got, I, he, well, the guy tried to kiss him and, and he was like, but it, but it wasn't a, 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 a proper. It was more of a like. It was a backhanded, like a little. What are but you doing? What but are you doing? it is quite. It was kind of like you were doing it to a dog or something like. Yeah, yeah, but you know there I mean? is a, there is a certain power in doing that, and that that shows you like <laughs> I, what I could do to you versus what I am doing. Uh, yeah, to you. and and uh, if someone try, this is the difference though is the guy was being inappropriate and invading his personal space and kind of sexually assaulting him on on some level. I mean, if you yeah. did that to a woman, it's out of uh, it shows. Yeah, okay. like if you did that to a woman, it but this is different. He just walked on stage and bitch slapped Chris Rock. Yeah, that Chris Rock wasn't invading his space. He was using words, hit him back with words. Use your words. You used to be good at that. Remember? Yeah, you know. So but that, that's the other aspect of this where I think you you got to unpack the the comedian side of it. A lot of comedians right now do feel censored. A lot of comedians right now do feel like they're coming for him. By yeah, me. and by, and like we said when we first started, the <laughs> the comedians are coming for you. Will absolutely. run and hide. Anyone who I've it, seen them already. Andrew Schultz. Oh right, did a whole podcast. He started in his uh, first armor. five minutes of his podcast. Fucking legendary. Yeah. The amount of brutal jokes he told. Like he, I think he uh, he was he he, he referenced. Um, the, the the Williams sisters being mm -hmm. tennis players and said that um, Jada Pinkett's head looked like a tennis ball going up and down on August's dick. Wow! Like like he he went he went there like right. he he went everywhere and and you know like um, legends as did August. Yeah, like and they they're all coming for him now and he's brought this on himself. When you disrespect a legend of that community, someone who they are going to feel like he's one of us. Not only is he one of us, he's Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm. You're fucked. And as That's, much as I'm a fan of Will, I'm like, you got to take this medicine now, bro. I get that. I also think there is a degree to which we also, like, it, it goes both ways. We have to acknowledge Will's probably also not in a great space himself. And clearly in doing that is a sign he's not in a great space clearly, himself. Yeah. So piling the, in on a guy. The, the, in, in a Oscar award show, we, we've seen violence from him and we've seen tears from him. That Those two things, like, and the way he was crying... Look, I know he won an Oscar, but like the guy comes off like a manic depressant right now. And and I'm sure that people need to have he needs good people around him. He we we know does. he hasn't. We look at those kids. <laughs> I, I like Willow and I like um They they they're all far too entitled and they, they think that they know everything. They've literally that some of the quotes from these kids, you can see that they're not attached to real life. You can see Will isn't attached to real life. And and that's the point for They've me so much money. is like, whenever I hear a celebrity chatting absolute shit, mm -hmm. I always go, oh. And I, like, I've, I've linked you guys videos where celebrities have talked stuff before. And I'm like, reality's coming. That mm -hmm. train is on its way. Mm -hmm. And it's coming into station any fucking day now. And for Will, it happened on a night where he was at his most confident, his most relaxed. And that's where... You usually it will when your when your ego is swelling to a point well, of like Denzel said. He yeah. said in your proudest moment, the devil is waiting. And for literally you with yeah. me, it was that it was it, you know I'm not saying anything anything when I when when my downfalls have came in my life, it's when I'm at my most overconfident when I think I'm the man. Sure, like and that's why you can never get to that point. Someone needs to check you. You need good people around you. I, he doesn't have that. I do think though there is an element of um, 
it, like you said earlier on, if you're in, if you're the offended and you're the first person to present yourself as the offended person, it almost puts a full stop on what you're saying because people go, oh, they're offended. They must be right. So there's a series of people just who I'm sick of this. Bro. What they do is they pivot to victim, mm. and I get it. Like sometimes you will be the victim of a joke, and that and that's absolutely fine. Like sometimes you will be on the rough end of a joke. But what it does is it then mean it somehow gives that person license to then do whatever they want 10 times back and say whatever they want 10 times back. And in many cases, by the way, twist your words or add context to those things that the comedian's not even aware of. So it, it, become, it became irrelevant almost that Chris Rock didn't know that she had that condition because people went, oh, well, people with alopecia are all offended about this. I'm like, I'm pretty sure some of these people, first of all, can speak for their fucking selves. And I'm pretty sure, by the way, that it, it's not really the worst joke he could have made there. Well, you need to put this though. in some form of fucking context here. Yeah. This guy's a comedian on a stage telling a joke. Th these people, you can't just get up and do whatever you want and say whatever you want. It's not open season on Chris Rock because Chris Rock upset you for making a fucking joke. But like, let's be real. If Chris Rock didn't just take that the way he did, that could have developed into a whole nother situation. He could have gotten his ass kicked by Will Smith right or there. He could have, he because no security Will guards Smith's... were fucking moving. Right, exactly. Because how many security guards are there at the Oscars yeah. who are going, there's going to be a fight here, guys? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're half asleep, right? right? But to your point, the culture right now of I am the offended... And therefore, it does not matter if you didn't mean to offend me, mm -hmm. if your joke was actually a good joke, if, if everything was watertight. I am offended, therefore, nothing you say after this point can stop my ability to do whatever I and want. And say whatever and, I want. And, and I've had a things. lot of conversations in the past few years where I'm saying this more and more in, um, in modern day culture where um, I feel like it's a problem with women, actually. I think... Just... I, no, I, you know, I, I know like whenever you generalize, you know, there's always exceptions. But what I'm saying more and more is <sighs> being hurt, being upset, that, that ability to just lash out and do whatever you want is really immature and destructive. And, and what we, and obviously men do it, women yeah. do it, but it gets to a point where explaining what you meant People don't want to hear it because they want that golden ticket. It gets they want that ability. Right. Like it, they're like, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope, I don't. I don't want to know. I don't want because I want to annihilate you. Or I want to have. I want to do whatever I want. Context. And I don't yeah. want to know anything now because I've got my golden ticket. Context that, get, gets called excusing. That's and a that's a real problem. That, that's for me. yeah. Context and explanation is it's different is, to excusing. Yeah, absolutely. Because you can go you, a rational person like you or I it could go. Look, I'm sorry you feel that way. Here's what I was meaning. Here's why I said it. And here is, you know, the, the genuine explanation for it. But when someone, it, it, when it's, when the offended person has no interest in that, it's because they want to be the victim. Can I, and I, they want to then lash out at you. Right. And they're not interested in any reasoning. And, and that victimhood gives some, peop uh, gives some people power. And I think... It gives um, them also comfort, it, I think. Uh, to some, yeah, like, yeah. I imagine they, there's, a lot, of different, there's a, different, a lot of different facets well, to... Well, we all know people in, in our lives. Way. And uh, there's one person I've met, you know, our, uh, it seems like their entire life is just... Victimhood. Yeah. It, it's what like, can I find I'm a victim of circumstance. And it's... And it's just like nothing is their fault i'm like motherfucker right. you're in your fucking 40s man right grow up yeah you know what i mean and, and what happened to you fucking 20 years ago you you really have had time to sort of process and, and evolve you can't keep living in victimhood so, sorry i'm really getting into this now <laughs> so one phrase that i've always really thought was quite relevant in especially in cancel culture or if you want to call it that is tyranny is the removal of nuance so you and within that, I'm so sick of that as well, bro. Right, literally, but, t t Twitter is like it's just like nuance doesn't exist. Right, and and that's kind of my point here is it what that allows removing any detail from the situation oh, yeah. and allows the victim to be to become they the, go la 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 I'm gonna smash the world up now. It allows yeah exactly, <laughs> um, but it is more like I'm gonna smash your world. Yeah yeah, and this is my revenge. Yeah, and I'm gonna say whatever I want about you, and I'll make as many jokes do as I know, want. Do you know what this is often in, about though? It's got nothing to do with the person that they are pointing their finger at in that Absolutely. moment and just like uh, chris rock this was nothing to do with him yeah this was will smith's backlash for everything he's been bottling up for probably five fucking years and it's probably childish career, it's like childish time. as fuck man so but that's a big uh, that's a big issue though because that at that point uh, these are all human actions and mm. to some extent people need to 
remember we're all just humans like we're all and, humans guys no but your your lashing out is the same as someone making a joke about yeah. you and everyone deserves to have a bit of a, a bit of space I, I, I to, think inten- to do that. intent is everything and that's the that's the problem that the nuance that nobody wants to pay attention to because when you have a cruel edge to your personality mm-hmm. and unfortunately it's becoming because we don't live in a world now where people do get a stiff bang in the face very often, the cruelty amongst anyone and everyone is more evident because they feel like they can get away with it. I can destroy you socially rather than physically. Sure. Um, they, they're not interested, mate. It, it, it's not about that anymore. Um, I'm going to have to wrap this up soon, actually, because uh, I've got a tattoo. you got a tattoo appointment. I still go back to the Kanye West thing, and I think that's how this is going to be remembered in years to come. In that moment, it feels like the biggest news thing ever. But you look back in a few years' time and you go, eh, wasn't really what we thought it was in that moment. No, I, I mean, it was a stupid, silly action, but I, I do Kanye think... Kanye was right, by the way. <laughs> About what? About Beyonce. She did have one of the best music videos <laughs> of all time. And Taylor Swift video did not live up to that. So I I don't know no, ten I mean, years I ten mean, years context. Jada might be the next J.I. Jane. But she might, but she might. Yeah, I hope not because I genuinely wouldn't go and see that film. Get, I think it needs to get away from her. But anyway, uh, you know, Will Will, uh, Will was a dick for that. I agree. Yeah. So you know what's weird about it is, and I'll finish on this. Sometimes women are very good influences in men's lives, and they make them mature, and that's really really good. You see it in The Lion King, right? Uh, when Nala comes along. Uh, Simba is matured because he finds a girl he loves, right? That's great. And women can be great influences on men. The Lion King wasn't real. The Lion King wasn't real, but it it was close. And sometimes those thing, those evolutions can go too far and become very toxic. I think that's no, what happened I, with Jaden. Yeah, I think it can go the opposite. Look, we're, we're all... We're all just influencers. Um, we're all influencing... In our own way. We're all influencing each other. And get you a partner, whether you're a man or a woman, who influences you to be the best person that you can be. And I think we're witnessing clear evidence that Will Smith is not the person we wanted him to be at this stage. And that's on him. But it's also a clear indication of his relationship. Of a marriage, yeah. yeah. A poor marriage. Um, An this, open marriage. This was uh, this was our new little series where, where we're just picking apart subjects. If you've got an idea for a title and you listen to the end, please get the series title ideas in the comments below. You might have just named our new series. Is this the True News Podcast or something like that? No, I, I, just, I feel like we could give it something... It's own. Snap here. Yeah. The get, slap. Get creative. Get yeah. creative. Uh, we love you all. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you later.